I would now like to introduce you to the equipment that you need for rapid eye vitrification and warming. First of all, we have the rapid eye straw with the rapid eye inside in the same package. We have the vitrification solutions. We have the goblet and cane that we would use for storage of the straw. And for the warming, we have the warming kit and the solutions, as well as a cutter to open up the straw and a needle nose tweezer to remove the rapid eye from the straw. We also have the container having liquid nitrogen and an ultrasonic sealer for sealing the straw. During the first step, you take the embryos from your culture dish and move them into the first solution and leave them there for five minutes. During the second step, the embryos are moved from the first solution to the second solution and remains in the second solution for two minutes. During the two minutes of the second step, after you have labelled the straw, you place it inside the smart box containing the liquid nitrogen and the rapid eye is placed inside a round dish ready for use. Towards the end of the two minutes, make a 20 microliter droplet using the third solution inside the round dish. At the end of the two minutes, remove the embryo from the second solution and move it into the 20 microliter droplet you have just created. Before loading the embryos in the rapid eye, remove the metal rod from the straw. Move the embryo from the media in the droplet and place it inside the hole with as little media as possible. The embryo will be held in position by surface tension. After loading the embryo into the rapid eye, drop it straight inside the straw. Seal the straw immediately after placing the rapid eye inside the straw. Place the metal cane inside the liquid nitrogen bath and then, while keeping the straw submerged in the liquid nitrogen, move it into the goblet. From here the cane can safely be taken to your storage tank where the embryos can be stored according to your own protocols. Prepare your warming solutions according to the protocol. After identifying the correct patient and straw, remove your straws and cane from the storage device into your liquid nitrogen container. Place your straw in position inside the smart box, always taking care to keep your embryo below the level of the liquid nitrogen. Wipe the top of the straw so that you can visualize the rapid eye on the inside. Making use of a large tweezer and the cutter, Lower the cutter over the top of the straw and cut it just above the top of the rapid eye. Making use of the needle nose tweezer, grab hold of the rapid eye and lift it up about one centimeter above the straw. At this point, make use of your fingers and take a tight grip on it. Before removing the rapid eye from the device, remove the lid of your dish and in one quick movement, move the rapid eye straight into the first solution. Place the rapid eye inside the first solution. Hold it there gently until you see the embryo coming away safely from the rapid eye and then you can remove it from the first solution. Once you have located the embryo, move it through the different warming solutions according to the protocol 
for either cleavage stage embryos or blastocysts. Once the embryos have reached the last solution, move them into your culture dish, give them a good wash and move them into the culture dish until the time of embryo transfer.